Hello YouTube, uh, it's LGC Ocean, and I'm here to show you the Nocturnal Shrine. Uh, it's located north of, well not really north, but outside of Layla you have to go out the back way at the northeast gate, it says right there. But if you did the Mazoga, the Orquez, you can just fast travel to Fisherman's Rock, it's right there. And yeah, you just go, it's right, actually right next to the road. Anyways, you go here, and uh, you actually don't need an offering for this quest, but you also have to be level 10. And, uh, th there's also another, uh, shrine, the Pyrite Shrine, I think. You don't need an offering, if, in case you're wondering. But yeah, pretty much what she's saying here is that, uh, two thieves stole her Eye of Nocturnal, and she suspects that they're in Leowin. And she's really, all uh, pissed off, like... Go get my eye and I'll reward you greatly or something. So yeah, from here, uh, stolen, and uh, you go to Lewin, and you have to ask around for the thieves. Uh, it's best, best, Jesus, can't talk, to ask for a guard, and uh, once you're, well, ask a guard, but you don't have to, but you'll, any male imperial will answer the question and any no one else will if you ask about Lewin but if you ask about the Eye of Nocturnal no one will know what you're talking about even if you ask Weebana or Bajing whatever her name is and uh if you ask about that no one know what you're saying and then Weebana will say you ask too much questions but uh, and then you might be able to go through that but I think it's best to ask the guard Oh yeah, and sorry that the screen's cut off, I'm using the laptop camera. And, uh, apparently I didn't face it down far enough so you can read it all. But you really don't need to read it, I guess. But yeah, he says how, I talked to him more about the Bajin and Weebna and everything. He says how Bajin wasn't bad until she hooked up with uh, Weebna, and Weebna is always using, playing scams and stuff. But yeah, from here, uh, just go find Weebna's house. Because they're usually both, well, they're always both in there, unless you did the Mezzoga quest. And he's never, well, he's in there, but he walks out for once in his entire life, I guess. In game. Anyways, uh, his house is right behind, uh, or in front of the pond. Uh, you might be able to see it here. No, you can't. Okay. Well, yeah, you look for a pond, and then you look at the houses and you'll find his usually. Anyways, you go in here and you ask him about the Eye of Nocturnal and he says, I don't ever talk about you ask too many questions. Eye of Nocturnal is, is always the first, uh, like, question to him. Anyways, you go out here and, uh, the journal, it says to, you have to try and listen in on their conversations. Uh, you pretty much just sneak in and just, uh, sit next to the door, but I used the invisibility potion, and I hot peed it, I'll see here, and I just went in, and I used that instead, and I, what they're saying is, uh, um, they're saying the trolls, like, the chicks, like, are you sure the trolls won't eat the eye, and we not says, don't, don't worry, it's fine, once I fence the thing, we'll be rich, Things like that. It says right here. It says I should go investigate the cave, and the cave is actually tide water cave, and it's uh, right near the water. It's actually be like backwards from the only one. Like you go down the river more, and it's there. I the closest thing I had to it was Deep Scorn Hollow, so I just use that. It's actually an add-on you can get uh, on the Xbox Live Marketplace. I'll know it is for PS3, but yeah, that's what it is. And um, you're going to see my horse, and it actually has the uh, elven armor. And that's also another add on. Right here. And uh, yeah, you can buy that too. There's like elven or steel or something. But yeah, once you uh, get to the cave, there's actually going to be two trolls outside of it, so I suggest you kill them first and don't make the mistake I do, because my horse actually dies. It's kind of sad, but I can just buy a new one, so it doesn't matter. But yeah, there's actually uh, two trolls hanging out outside the cave, so make sure that you look around and kill them first, or else 
Well, if you brought a horse, your horse is probably going to die. But yeah, it's right around here. It's right near the water. And, uh, I hear the music that there's someone trying to attack me. I never figure out that it's actually attacking my horse right now. So I just go in the cave because I really don't care. But yeah, once you're in there, uh, don't make the mistake I did. Look on your uh, compass because it's actually a green arrow to tell you where it is. And there's actually a 3 to 10 uh, enemies depending on your level. And I have a ton because I'm level 15. And this is level 10 quest. There's like mountain lions, and rats, and wolves, and bears. I don't go through the whole cave, but I'm sure there will be. Would be, maybe. And, uh, yeah. There's your bear. There's a the troll. And right about here, I figure out that, uh, there's a green arrow. I'm like, oh, damn. Anyways, what you're supposed to do, once you run in the cave, you make a left. And then, from there, you make another left. And you go in, and you just swim straight forward, and you'll find a chest. Has, a uh, leveled loot. And, uh, the Eye of Nocturnal, which kind of looks like a caterpillar for me at first glance, at least. I, I, when I first saw it, I thought it was a Nukai enemy. I'm like, oh, damn. But anyway, um, yeah. Once you get there, just get the, lo the loot and gold and everything if you can. And then get the eye. And then your quest uh, book will say you have to go back to uh, uh, the shrine. Yeah, see, there's some good stuff, kind of. And there's the eye right there. Yeah. I'm slurring really bad. This is annoying. I'm sorry if this sucks. This is like, I think, my third video, if any of you care. But yeah, once you go through here, you go back to the shrine. And she says, uh, thank you for getting it back. And she gives you the skeleton key, unbreakable lockpick. For, and uh, you, just, for me, you keep clicking X. I get stuck here, but yeah, you keep clicking X, and eventually it'll open. You don't have to waste your lockpicks. And I really don't mind using a lockpick, but I guess if it's quicker, might as well. And it, like, if you go to a, look, see, my horse dies. One hit, bam, right in the face. Yeah. It's like you can't even search him because he has nothing. It's like a pointless horse. Yeah, there's, but like I said, there's the two trolls. There's the one that, uh, I can't fast travel yet, but there's the one that, uh, killed my horse, and then there's this one that comes up behind me pretty much. Anyways, now you can fast travel, and, uh, like I said, she gives you skeleton key. It can raise your lockpick skill up really fast if you have the, the Thieves' Den, uh, add-on. You just go to the training chest and just you click an X and you'll get to 100 in about, I don't know, two minutes. Anyways, uh, yeah, thank you for, uh, watching the video. I hope it helps if you ever plan on doing this, you know, quest. And if you have done it by this video, uh, I hope you enjoy your, uh, new Unbreakable Lockpick. Uh, I should be making videos daily, and it'll be better than this in about a month because I'm getting a capture card. And I'm actually uh, testing out iMovie for the first couple of times in these videos. So, sorry if they suck, but yeah, uh, thank you for watching again. There's Skeleton Kid. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed it, and I guess I'll see or talk to you maybe next time. Please rate, comment, subscribe, the whole thing. Thank you.